how do you guys feel uh, when you watch a, a boxing, you know, you're a kickboxer, but when you watch a boxing fight or an MMA fight, and then Manny, how do you feel when you watch uh, an MMA fight or a kickboxing fight, right? So the ones you didn't participate in, uh, what's that like? Is it, yeah, tell us. There's something inside of you that kind of, yeah, it kind of moves and you're like, oh, fuck. Like you put yourself in that position and you kind of move and you, and you kind of think, oh, oh, I, oh, you see this opening, you see that opening, you see that shot. And uh, you're like, oh, fuck, you should have done that. Oh, wow, I, I would have done that. Yeah, uh, it's interesting. It's, um, it's an interesting uh, thing. Uh, yeah, I, yeah I, I find myself looking and thinking, you know, uh, well, I wouldn't have done that. I would have done that. Oh, yeah, that was nice and, and being impressed by certain things. But, uh, yeah, I just say, wh I think, what would I have done? And, uh, you know, I, I do that quite a bit. Yeah, like tonight, I, you know, it's all the fights I was like, my wife's coming in. She's like, "Wow, she's this is, wow, honey. Oh God, okay. Well, you enjoy yourself." And I'm like, "She's like, you look a little tense." And I'm like, "No, no, honey. I'm just, I'm just watching the fight. Get out of here." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "I'm into the fight, honey. I'm a fighter." Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I just, I, I put myself into it and and think what I would do. And a uh, heart starts getting a little, you know, pounded a little bit. Yeah, it's interesting. I totally agree with Jerry. Your heart starts beating a little differently while you're watching a match, but you know, like I can say, like I'm an armchair quarterback. Right? <laughs> I mean, I can't, you can't, you can't expect to get back in there the same. The reflexes aren't the same, yeah. you know. And um, and it's fun. It's fun to sort of critique things yes. and watch things and uh, yeah. But you know, that's why I give so many props to guys like like a guy like you know, um, George Foreman that came back at like 48. And uh, now that Mike Tyson, even though it wasn't really a complete comeback, and now he's he's just going to want to do exhibitions, but you got to give him props, man, because to do what he does is it's, he's, uh, he's really, he's getting out there and, and putting himself out there to do it. And, um, but I mean, yeah, it just brings brings back a lot of memories for me, yeah, really. And, um, yeah. I mean, I've, it's it's fun to watch and and you know just to really understand how man how these guys must feel because you know like Jerry and I have been through it. And, you know, you know when you're digging deep into the later rounds and how <laughs> you're thinking to yourself, oh my goodness, like uh, yeah, this is really getting to me or whatever. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, yeah. there's a lot of different feelings that come through there. Yeah, what 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 what, what Lopez and uh, Santana. Yeah. Those guys were in their thirties. They were like 30, 36, I think. Thirty-eight. Yeah. I think. So, uh, I think. Uh, Josecito Lopez was thirty-eight years old, and he fought. Can he's fought Canelo. He's fought all the great oh, fighters. Yeah. Fought Thurman too. And wow. Thurman, yeah. 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 I mean, oh my God. You know, yeah. Roberto Garcia is his trainer, and he's a really good trainer. He's trained a lot of good fighters, and um, oh. I think uh, he might have one more go. Like I mean, he's not in the same league as a, as Errol Spence or anything, but maybe as a fringe contender, he can do something. How, how old were you when you when you retired, Manny? Well, I was younger. Like yeah. I'm not that young, but I mean, my last match was in 19, or 2001, so that would have made me 33 because I was born wow. in 68. Okay, yeah. wow. Damn. And you, how old were you, Jerry? 28, man. 28. I retired. My last fight was 1980. Wow. 89. Uh, young. Yeah, 89. I was like, okay, yeah. That's when I was born. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm the oldest guy here. Well, 